day subscribers thank you so much for joining me today i am jeremy this is the financial education channel and today we're talking about why financial success in life is basically like running a mile guys i'm gonna give you five reasons why running a mile and, and having financial success is like the same thing guys and maybe you can use this analogy for like the rest of your life and just kind of think about your financial success in life as running a mile guys and maybe that'll like stick in your brains I think it's a great way of looking at things and hopefully you guys too leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this video guys let's get right into this so number one number one reason why having financial success in life is like running a mile is when you're running a mile you got to have a game plan you can't just go out there and do whatever you got to have a game plan on how you're gonna race I was a sprinter in college, so I didn't really have much of a game plan. I was a 200 meter sprinter. It was basically just sprint the whole way and you know, <laughs> that's basically the whole game plan. But when you're running a mile, you need a game plan. You gotta have it figured out. Okay, I'm gonna try to run my, if any good mile runner out there, they have a game plan. Okay, I'm gonna run my first lap, I'm gonna try to hit around 63 seconds. That second lap, I'm gonna try to hit another 63 seconds. The next lap, I'm gonna try to get it down to about 60 seconds. And that last lap, I wanna hit about 50 seconds. They have like a game plan on how they wanna start the race, how they wanna do the second lap, how they wanna do the third lap, and how they wanna finish it. They have a game plan going in. In life, and if you want to have financial success, you're going to have some sort of game plan on how you get to where you want to get to. So if you want to have a, a successful life, you got to figure out, okay, how do I save money? Okay, how do I get a better job? Okay, how do I start a successful business? How do I grow that business be, um, beyond just being me employed to maybe employees employed? How do I make my money into money? you got to have an exact game plan and then go out and execute that game plan. So that's the first reason why, you know, basically running a mile and having financial success in life is the same thing. Reason number two is, is um, if you get off to a decent start, it can help you in the race. If you're still at the finish line when they blow the gun and you're still tying your shoe or you just start walking at the beginning, that's probably going to hurt you in that mile long race. I doubt that's part of your strategy. That's probably going to hurt you in the race. But if you get out to a nice start um, you know, you get out there pretty good. You're, that's going to help you in the long run in that race. Whereas, whereas financial success, it's the same way. If you get started early, if you start learning all this stuff in your teens, maybe early 20s and start getting involved with the stock market or real estate investing or whatever type of way you want to make your money into money, if you start researching that and getting into that very young, it's going to help you dramatically down the road when other people are maybe just trying to get into that stuff in their late 30s, 40s. 50s maybe you've already been doing it for a decade or two you've got a ton of experience and you already have a base of money built up so the financial success is a lot easier to come to you so it's the same way in a mile race if you get off to a slow start it's going to hurt you in the end if you get off to a nice start it's probably going to help you in the end which same thing in financial success guys number three as long as it is key to pay attention to yourself and not others as the race goes on so you got to pay attention to your own race and not not if somebody's going out there blazing that first lap or whatever or the second lap you got to pay attention as the race goes on to what is going on with you whereas same thing of financial success you can't worry about your friend over there who's, who's you know already got a lamborghini or whatever or or this person over there you can't go feeling good about yourself because you know you're doing better than them financially so you think you're doing great no pay attention to your own race because it's your own race is what matters in the end and how you execute that race so same thing with a mile run if somebody this guy's flying around that second lap don't go flying out with him because you might end up dying. You might end up hitting the wall by the time the third lap comes. And then your whole race is ruined because you were focused on what they were doing and trying to keep up with them rather than what you're doing and executing your own game plan. Back to step number one, execute your own game plan. Focus on yourself. Don't focus on others. Don't make yourself feel good because you're doing better than somebody else or you're doing or make yourself feel bad because you're doing worse than somebody else. Focus on your own race. It's your own race that matters and executing your own race, guys. Number four, the last lap can be a place of panic or a place of calm, smooth running, guys. If you're in a good position in that last lap, you don't need to panic. You can just run, run smooth and everything. If you're in that last lap and you're way behind the leader and the leader is like way up there and all the other competitors are way up there and you ran a bad race and your time's not going to be close to what you wanted to run, you need to try to panic and run and it might honestly be too late at that point. So 
Do you want that last lap to be, a, you know, when you're hitting your 50 year old range, 50, 60 year old, do you want to be in a place where you're panicking, trying to scramble, get money together? Oh, I want to retire. I want to enjoy my grandchildren. I want to do this. I want to do that. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Or do you want to be in a place like, man, I'm set. Everything's gone exactly as planned. Um, I've executed. I've had a game plan. I've executed that game plan. We're sitting pretty right now. So do you want do you want to panic in that last lap or do you want to be in a, in a prime successful position where you don't need to panic? Number five, if you're too far back, the last hundred meters doesn't even matter. So the last hundred meters means that last straight away. So many times I'll watch a mile race, you know, in high school or college or whatever, or even on TV, and some guy will be flying in that last hundred meters, but it doesn't matter because the, the winner and the second place guy and the third place guy, they're already already finished. They're already done the race. And that other person left way too much in the in the tank. They weren't working hard enough the entire race, and they have way too much left at the end of the race. And they're like sprinting down that, that straightaway. And it's like, who cares? You got like eighth eighth place or whatever. You didn't execute your race nearly what you should have. You shouldn't even be able to sprint like that at the end. You ran a bad race. Same thing with financial success. If you are just planning on, oh, you know what? I'll start saving money. I'll start investing when I, you know, hit my forties, my fifties, whatever. At that point, it's really hard, especially if you're a 50 plus and you're just starting to get into that stuff at that age. It's nearly impossible. It almost doesn't matter what you do at that age because the problem is you're not going to really compound numbers. So even if you get a good gain on your money at that point, you're not going to have all those years to compound. Like if you were starting in your 20s and then had your 30s to compound money, then your 40s to compound money. And by the time you hit 50s, your money is like compounded ridiculously. If you're just starting in your 50s, you know, it's really hard to have any type of financial success at that point, guys. It's super hard. So that's another one. And and this is kind of just a, the end point. When the race is over, when any time any race is over, even me with a 200 meter sprint, I would always ask myself, you know, do I have any regrets? Were there some mistakes I made? Maybe I hugged that turn too hard. Maybe I didn't get out of the blocks nearly fast enough like I wanted to. Maybe I picked my head up too too high too soon. Maybe I should have stayed lower coming out. Um, you know, maybe my my form wasn't the best. My form started breaking down. Maybe I was too attention, uh, you know, paying much, too much attention to the guy running next to me rather than running my own race. I could go into a lot of things that maybe I'm regretting. When you get to the end of that race, when you're like 60 years old, do you want to? If you feel like, shit, man, I didn't save crap for money. I have so many regrets. I messed up so many things. I didn't execute my game plan. I didn't even have a game plan. Do you want to run that kind of race or do you want to look back and say, I'm really proud of that race I ran. I ran a damn good race. Maybe it wasn't perfect all the time, but I ran really freaking good and, I, and I'm proud of myself and I did a really good job and I set myself up to hit the time I wanted to hit or hit the place I wanted to hit, guys. So that's kind of what you want to ask yourself at the, end of the, at the end of the race or at the end of the game, the financial success game, guys. So I hope this video helped and I hope it kind of it ran through, you know, it's basically just kind of like running through the cycle of life and, and trying to reach, reach financial success, guys, in the end and kind of comparing it to a mile. I think it's a fun way of doing it, especially because I come from the track world. I think it's just a fun thing to compare it to, guys. So leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video today. If you just came across and you've not subscribed yet, you may want to. We talk personal finance on this channel. We talk entrepreneurship. I'm an actual business owner. I give away a lot of my business tips. We talk the stock market the most, how to make your money into money. Follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day.